What's up, everybody? It's me again, and it's time to lean in, bitch. Happy Memorial Day. It is a holiday. It's Monday, but content is out. Shows are coming on, so, of course, we're going to recap it. Sammy, what's up? Happy Monday. How is your holiday? What is the tea? So far, so good. I got plans after this, so, you know, I'm ready. Well, I ain't got no plans, y'all. I'm tired. You ain't got no plans? You tired? I, I, we was talking before this. I have been tipsy drunk leaning all weekend in my own life so no after this it's gonna be giving real ps5 and chill yeah so well that's fun that's too that's fun thing. too it is but i'm sure when you're going it's more exciting you're probably going to a barbecue or pool party or some chat but mm-hmm. nonetheless married to medicine i think both of you uh you and i just watched it literally maybe mm-hmm. within the last like two hours so the thoughts are fresh um you know um What's his name? Uh, la, 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 I can't think of his name. Antonio, sorry, my mind's frozen, child. All that drinking. Antonio was here last week. And, you know, we, 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 I decided that we were going to commit to finishing the season out. This is episode 13. And um, I think they may have, like, maybe three more left before the show was over. They have done mm-hmm. the reunion, which we saw. And uh, people, the, you know, I will say the reunion looks got more buzz than the entire season. Then the whole season? Yeah, because people have been talking about it. Like, I know I saw your comments. I posted it on the Instagram page of mine, and, like, people from everywhere was just talking about the looks. So I want to spend some time talking about the looks, too, um, just okay. because, I mean, you know, I feel like we have an opinion. We, ha- we have similar thoughts, and I think it would be something worth talking about. So let me put it on the screen. And you give me your opinion. We're going to do some best dress and worst dress, and then we get into the actual episode because, you know. Okay. That's- what we're here for, of course. So, oh, so can't see us right now, but you can see them because that's what we're talking about. Okay. If you look at this picture, who is best dressed? <laughs> uh, for me, heavily, heavily got them all this season. You think from her heavy? dress, mm-hmm. yeah, from her dress, the hair, the makeup, and she posted like up close pics on her Instagram. She mm-hmm. looks really good, so heavily yeah. gets it for me. Okay. So if you look at this picture again, who gets worse dressed? <laughs> We're gonna have to get that to Anila. She just looks out of place from every possible standpoint. Like, I mean, she looks uncomfortable. Maybe she was nervous. It was her first reunion, but she just she just looks out of place. Like the color matches, but everything else is just not there for me. So she gonna have to get worse dressed. Yeah, the people just were not really here for the overall because the color. I get the color scheme, but it was it definitely was given. Easter basket, Easter. Easter and that's not, there's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like the ladies could have probably did a little better with how they chose their looks. I mean, it is a reunion, so you want to be elegant, but I don't know where they necessarily got that from. I feel like these colors after last week's episode, I feel like it plays off of that, in my opinion. So I want to know, like, what was the thing? I don't know. I really yeah. don't know. So, but that makes sense thinking about that little party she threw when they had all the colors and that's what i'm thinking so that it may maybe, have been maybe we'll, i guess we'll find out obviously when it when it, mm-hmm. when it aired they probably will be giving us well the trailer for probably even come out way before the finale episode but we'll see i don't know um but i would definitely say best dress would definitely have been uh heavily i'm gonna go back to the picture again um i do like i do like contessa's dress i like the construction of it but Contessa to me is just very boring in general. So it's like the dress is wearing her. I think she could have did more with the hair, but she's not really yes. a hair girl. Yeah. Um, but Simone seems to be the most controversial. So of course, with Real Housewives of Atlanta, the girls was going in on Candy, whereas some girls were saying Candy was on thing. But and I'm seeing like the same thing for Simone. She's honestly the most talked about. Everybody's saying that either they love it or she looks a fool. What do you think about Simone? Look. Um, I don't like it. More so, what I don't like the most is the hair. And for me, she never really nails it at the reunion. I think, was it last year or the year before, when she mm-hmm. had the little pantsuit with the bob? Mm-hmm. Out of the entire eight seasons, that was her best one for me. This particular one, I don't care for. I don't care for the dress. It really looks like a um, like the little church suit that the women wear for Easter Sunday, the first yeah. ladies. Yeah. And then the hair, I don't know what the hair, I don't know what the theme was. So I can't say that she was in theme or that she wasn't. The color scheme she's on, but the hair, the dress, I just don't like it. I mm-hmm. don't mind the hair. It's I don't okay. I don't love the hair. It's it, it's it's a little <laughs> it's a little edgy for her. I think I, you know I don't know I don't think the hair has anything, anything to do with theme at all. But um, it's it's the whole thing for me. It's the dress. I think she looks great. Like 
Glam is on point. This is probably her, the yeah, best. Yeah. I, I feel like she's looking a long time, and I can't wait to see it on the actual TV screen. But in terms of the whole look, not here for it. Definitely, I dream of Jeannie Ponytail. Not my favorite, but uh. <laughs> And you know what? That that may help them because you know we see those pictures and then we give our opinions. But when it comes across the screen, right. it right. translates better. So hopefully that's the case for a lot of them. Well, yeah. specifically for a contestant in that ponytail and his yeah. own in her hair. Yeah, one here for Toya looked okay. I, 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 she, the dress. She looked good. Cool. Very. You know, this is all of them look like fairy godmothers of different types of eras and lives. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm not really feeling it. Yeah. They already. That... They, they already have a rep for being like the aunties of Bravo. And so put them in that. Like, <laughs> that, that. It is like y'all ain't trying to, get, you know, get rid of the auntie image from them, child. But nonetheless, the reunion should probably be airing within the next like four weeks or so. The, the season will be over. So we'll see it in person. Uh, let's talk about the current episode, which is episode 13. Uh, mm -hmm. Last week, Antonio and I did episode 11 and 12. But um, here we are uh, past a little bit of the drama. Of course, Kawhi was in tour with Toya. Um, and then Heavenly and Lisa, you know, had a little spit and spat, you know, here and there. But in this episode, a lot of things happened, but not a lot worth talking about. But what I can say, uh, in the midst of all those beefs and stuff like that, Simone and Jackie are back having lunch again. That makes me happy. That makes me really happy. That now, makes me happy, yes. I never really saw where the resolution came from. Like, they kind of never really showed them. Just the same as, it, like, with Toya Contest, it's like they just magically got back cool, and we didn't mm -hmm. see it. So maybe, just like Atlanta, they were skipping a lot of the filming, and so, like, you know, filming was chopping off. So who knows? But hopefully they're okay at the reunion. I hope that they're not back beefing, because you know how they have... That's the, the, that's the right. part that makes me nervous, because now they got to rehash it all. Yeah, and knowing how Simone, yeah. right? Exactly. Yes. I'm noticing from this episode a long, like I've noticed a long time, but Simone, she definitely holds on to things. I will say, and and uh, and and she's not always the most forthcoming with how she feels, which is to me very irritating. You know, it's kind of like you know she kind of beats around the bush. I feel like, and so in this case, I feel like she's gonna be the one at the end to be like, well, I had time to think about it, and I saw what Jackie said, and I feel like it's gonna be given that. But we, and that. especially, especially after after the reunion, the way that they were posting, mm -hmm. they were basically on two separate teams. Because I think what a heavenly posted, and she was like, "We won, team winners, or something like that." And it was all the girls, just not. Um, I think it was just Simone and Toya, and we were yeah. the only two missing. Yeah. So already it's saying that there was a divide at the reunion, which we expect. But for Simone and Jackie to be on opposite ends again, it's like, how is that going to work moving forward? Mm -hmm. I agree, um, but we'll see. At the lunch, the Jackie and Simone lunch that we always have seen in the past, uh, uh, Simone announces that basically she was supposed to be working with Lisa Nicole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I don't know why anybody does business with Lisa Nicole at this point. Lisa Nicole is not a businesswoman. I'm sorry. At all. Uh, not even just from the heavenly stuff, but just looking at what happened when um, actually Chase, I wish Chase could really speak to this. Cause, uh, Cause Chase actually worked with Lisa Nicole and for Lisa Nicole before, but she's just not mm. a great woman for business. So I'm wondering, honestly, how are things going with her and Anila? Like, is because you know she's like uh, marketing her clothes for or on her social media. But well, basically, go ahead, go ahead. I, I mean, I, I would hope that that would be simple. All she has to do is pay the lady to make a post for. Her. So I would yeah. hope that she could do that. I would hope. I, you know, we, we're not going to see Lisa Nicole at the reunion, so I guess we won't find out, really. Um, mm. Unless they do, like, a little cameo from, like, uh, Skype or something like that. But, yeah, I don't know. What, what were you going to say? Yeah, I was I was shocked to see uh, Carrie, or Carrie, however you say it. I'm not surprised that she wasn't there. But Lisa Nicole, especially with the preview that they showed for next week's episode, where she has some type of legal stuff going on, you would think that she would have been there. But maybe she will come in virtually or something. So yeah. who knows? Yeah. Um, with, I will talk about Anila and her daughter for a second. I kind of just, you know, seeing her with her family. I think we have said a lot. I know I've said a lot that I feel like they're really trying to, you know, incorporate her culture and her uh, nationality mm -hmm. and within to the show. I don't know if it's really helping them out based off of the allegations of them not incorporating Mariah's, um, family, you know, other side of family. But the scene with her daughter, it kind of, kind of touched me a little bit. You know, it just, her being, I guess she's basically saying like she was younger. She wasn't always comfortable with herself, not necessarily her skin, but with her culture and being an Indian mm -hmm. woman or Indian American woman. 
Um, and so how did you feel about that with the scene with her daughter? Any thoughts? It was good to see when I heard when I first saw her talking to the nanny initially, mm -hmm. I was thinking this is I, it felt like a reach. Maybe she was looking for something because I didn't understand how she was trying to correlate her being picked on and antagonized as a child with actually building this dream home. I didn't see the correlation between the two, That's good but actually seeing that. her speak to her daughter. <laughs> yeah, she was saying so when she was speaking to her daughter and the, the girl was speaking back, it, it kind of made sense. And I did understand it. And I, I just like you, I had compassion for it. But speaking to the nanny, I was like, this is, is this something just for the camera? Or I, what, what are we talking I, a about? A part of me, it, it touched yeah. me, but I did feel like, why is she doing this to this girl on camera? You know, it's not it was with the nanny. When she talked talk to the well, little yeah, girl, it felt more genuine. Yeah, it yeah. felt more genuine. Okay. So, mm, but I'm glad it was good to see her have that type of conversation with her, especially nowadays with everything that's going on mm -hmm. um it's probably something that she needed to have yeah with the daughter so so lisa nicole is having she's doing a, a planning dinner now i thought it was like a planning type thing but she made it a whole big like production and a part of me i feels like that's because she really probably was trying to make her way back into being a main cast member or at least maybe i believe next, so maybe next season maybe she's trying to create that that road and avenue because i don't understand why she was doing all of that for you know for this but i really was hoping we would have saw her husband that's why i was trying to see oh, go ahead they ain't come back on that camera that's not, not, saying, no like, not not that i want to see him myself but i was like okay i wonder how they go yeah she's there and so i feel like if she wants to be back on the show full time she gonna have to bring him back on there's no way because this show is based off of the dynamics of married like couples. It's not, you know, I mean, the single people look at Kawhi. That's why she, she ain't really there. So if she wants to be back on the show, um, she gonna have to bring it back on. Otherwise, she gonna be like, like a Kawhi number two, but she doesn't get as much as what Kawhi gives. I opinion. feel like that's the reason Lisa left. I think it was more so her husband and not Bravo, especially after the last season they were on. I feel like he is the reason why she is no longer on the show. Yeah, I agree. So at this yeah. event, uh, Simone, when she got there, she was over it. And this is what I was talking about. Like, just girl, like, you came in with a, being upset, and I get it. I probably feel like, girl, why did you even come? That's just my thought. That's um, Like, I don't know why. Like, you come in, and the girls kind of know that something's going on. And I feel like Anila kind of already knew that she was upset about this because she really was, like, kind of like, what's going on? What's going Pushing on? It. Then again, Anila always got her nose in everybody else's little situations to just like last week Bruce. with you know Bruce. trying to make them get back for stuff like that so yeah I, I i get it um but what were your thoughts on that as far as her and like you said do you agree that she should have probably not come or was it good for her to come and get it out because that's basically what she came to do because any any, any uh, moment well go ahead go ahead go ahead so initially when they were asking you seem like you're down and she was like am i depressed or irritated my thing is, why would come into this woman's house with that that attitude? Maybe you should have spoke to her before, had to sit down with her beforehand. Right. But I guess, like right. you said, she did have to come to address it. But did you expect for it? Because that could have went any way. You in her home, you're irritated with her at her planning dinner or whatever she yeah. wants to call it. And her attitude was real, it was like real stink. Yeah. I don't know. If I was Lisa, I would have felt the way. Like, we could have talked about this before you came in here. Knowing we were coming in here to speak about this whole event that we're doing together. So you should have well, ran that by me first. I agree. I definitely agree. Yeah. I was very surprised at how receptive she was in the first conversation because she was just like, you know, this, this is what this is what's going on. Like, I feel like, you know, it was something we do together. She addressed her, you know, even after having to pull the shit out of her, she finally addressed mm -hmm. it. And Lisa Nicole was like, OK, like, I understand. Um, but how do you feel about the situation? Because this is really a repeat of the whole heaven help us or was it Lisa? What was it name? Her Lisa the Cozy event child. I don't even remember. What I, I, it was. It was heaven. I, I think remember. it was heaven help us. Well, it was heaven help us. Was heavenly by herself. Because at first, remember at first they were supposed to have an event together, but then they, everything started going left, so they had individual events. Okay, I remember that. I don't remember what Lisa's was called, but I just think, I don't know. Simone, she should have known better, especially after she met up with her when they were showing. Her. I guess they were at Simone's office, and she showed her she oh, had all. Yeah. She already basically had everything planned out. So at that, that was point, the time she should have used to, to pull out. Yeah. To pull Either pull out, out or address her and tell her that you doing this by yourself. Is this not a team effort or do you still need me? What do you need me to do? That was the moment when she should have spoke on everything except she just sat there 
and was just and like, let it I simmer. Think she don't need my help. Like, yeah, girl, no, let her know how you feel. Like, okay, this ain't cool because I thought we was part of doing this together, and you doing all this stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, that was at least. Yeah, and that goes back to you saying that she's not as direct as she should be in certain, yeah, certain because she'll speak on everybody else stuff. She will. she'll speak on everybody else stuff, but when it comes to her, she want you have to like tug a war to her. get her. She be sitting good. over there. You like, yeah. what's wrong? My man ain't shit. What you... <laughs> 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 <Just> like... <laughs> but yeah, she um, she definitely should have addressed that before him before going to to her house. Yeah, I agree. It, it could have went really left. It did. Um, I'm glad that it did not. But like I said, I'm glad that Lisa was able to be like that. Um, when Heavenly got there and child, Heavenly and Lisa's Nicole's little beef is so petty to me. It's so funny watching it like, like though, because it's, it's yeah. like they kind of remind me of like sisters ish, how like sisters are, and they got that little you know back and forth little not beef, but I know how my mom and my aunt play. Like like they not obviously they won't get as serious as these two because these two really don't like each other like that. But the bickering doesn't really go as it doesn't go as 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 left as it could, you know. They be talking about each other's well, now. I don't like the fat shaming that you're doing against Heavenly because Heavenly has lost a lot of weight. And at this She's point, lost a lot of weight. that is no for her to be calling her any kind of big. And Heavenly don't even care. I think it's just a principle like, girl. But, you know, at the same time, in this situation, she brought a gift. And I'm already like, girl, why are you bringing a gift? This is an event supposed to be about this town hall. I, you know, it's supposed to be a, a, a positive space. But you, you're bringing a gift. In a Chanel bag, knowing damn well it's not Chanel. It's not Chanel. One. But it started when she first got there. And she put the tape around her and she was just like, like, girl, I'm not doing that bullshit today. I'm not doing that bullshit today. <laughs> so, and, so Heavenly came in and I'm thinking, what the hell wrong with her? So when Lisa tried to hug her, I didn't see the, the measuring tape at first. I had to go back. So Heavenly, well, no, it was when they did, when they recapped and it slowed it down. Because Heavenly popped up and she was like, girl, get the hell off me. I'm not in the mood for that today. I'm thinking, damn, she Heavenly, pushed what's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, well, her attitude bad too, just like Simone. But when they showed the replay, I said, "Oh, this okay." Now I yeah. see why she popped right. off like that. Right. So it made sense. Yeah, she. I mean, uh, uh, apparently she sent a text message to her saying that, well, girl, yeah. girl, "Let's get on the scale." You know, and I, I get, I get what was going with it. But girl, at the same time, him, I love you, girl. But you did put it out there. So then, at this point, stand in it. I'm sorry. Heavenly yeah. ain't never ran for much, so I, I was kind of confused on why she was so quick to. I don't think she wanted to do that. I don't think well, she I was surprised she, she came. That was yeah, she, the I, way she I came wondered, in. You know, it probably was given. You know, it, it honestly was given. Like she definitely didn't want to be there. Like she was kind of forced to be there. Because mm -hmm. uh, it seems like like is this event she having? Is this like going to be an event that they having for the show, or is it just? I don't really get like what the event, not what it's about, but like who is supposed to be, like who's it from? Because she's obviously marketed as herself, but then. You know, uh, Simone was upset that nobody was included. So it's like, is it like a group thing for Meriton Medicine? I don't understand. And that was another thing, because she said it was supposed to be for them to brainstorm and come up with ways to get the people out to vote. But they didn't discuss anything at the table. She yeah, went straight she to the gift. She went straight to the, sh unless they, they edited it out, but I mean, she went straight to the gift. So it was like, for me, another point for her to try to amp up her, her character to get back onto the show as a full time. A full time cast mate. So I agree. It I was agree. a it was it was, it was a, a pointless event to me. I'm yeah. actually sick of very gifts. much so. Bravo and these girls, Housewives, Marriage and Medicine, all these shows and these little gag gifts, be so whack. <laughs> I mean, come on, Juice Adora and her wig. Uh, what's her name? I, I mean, the picture. I, Don't forget the picture, the autograph. Well, I, I, mean, I did. I did like that. I it was cute. Was, it was cute, was but cute. it was just like okay, the gifts. The and gifts. For that the time, gifts. it was cute, but. The, yeah, but the wig, terrible. And you know, I'm not really a fan of Monique's uh, little book she had. Or no notebook, so whatever. I love the book. <laughs> I love the book. When you go, if you bring a gift, you need to, it needs to be funny. It needs to be funny. It needs to be received well. And I feel like if, if the majority don't laugh, it's just like, it's a It's fight. not, yeah. But and I so, think for her, more so for Lisa, that was not the moment for her. It was. Y'all supposed to be doing this positive thing and trying to get people out to vote. What's and then you come to with the all the screen camera time she can get. She probably was like, yeah. bitch, let me throw this out here because I don't know when it, you know, obviously when you film it, you don't know what's going to make it. So that's probably, it probably was a, a a thought of like for TV, a TV thought. Yeah, exactly. It was definitely for TV. Yeah. Just the wrong uh, time. Right. Yeah. And Toya swapping seats. 
Clearly, she still don't like Anila. Clearly. I, 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 I and don't she get tried, it. She tried to pop up on Jackie. She, like, she tried I, to... I was going to talk about that, too. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that situation with Jackie, it came out of nowhere. Nowhere. Like, I think I think the group definitely wants... I, I feel like everybody feels the same about Jackie and Heavenly, that maybe Jackie doesn't hold uh, Heavenly accountable. She doesn't really call her out. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of them feel that way. But at the same time, Heavenly's a grown-ass woman. Just because it's... You know what I'm saying? I get that. They're friends and stuff like that, but... Like, she's a grown-ass woman. She's been there for a very long time. She was that way before she was with friends with Jackie when they beef. And she's that way now. And so, I'm not saying it's acceptable, but it's like, girl, like, you popping off on this. Get, you getting mad at her, like, aggressively because she's not checking her friend. And, I mean, I also have to think, we have to think about since season one, Jackie has always been trying to be the peacemaker. Maybe she just tired. Maybe she just say... Y'all go ahead and, and do whatever you want to do. And I have to give her credit. She can't control Heavenly, but we have seen her many times before I try to, you know, calm Heavenly down or try to de-escalate a situation. But Heavenly is going to be Heavenly regardless. So I don't think that Jackie can be held accountable for that. Toya just needed somebody to take it out on because it every was, time she tries to take, out, take it out it on Heavenly, random. it doesn't. It was very random. And like Heavenly she, was gone already. Heavenly and it, it's not like Heavenly came in there and started it. Lisa started with Heavenly. So why yeah. are we now blaming heavily and then we upset with Jackie because she didn't calm heavily down? It just didn't make no sense. But that that's typical to you. Yeah, it, Very it, didn't make sense. Um, <clears throat> it, it, it didn't make sense at all. And I'm just like, I don't understand. Like, it, it was just random. Like, it's like she was just trying to heavily had left and heavily stormed out because she didn't want to be a part of the negative situation. So why is Toya upset with Jackie as if she just did something? Because when you think about it, if you watch everything back, like, Carrie and Lisa have been coming at Heavenly for the last like three or four episodes. They, and that's they why started I that fight yeah. at the thing last week. They at started the party, that. yeah. So it's like, it ain't like she just coming, you know, she's reacting. She's responding, but it ain't like she just out here, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird to me anyway. Like, it's very weird. I, I think that's something else that was um, not looked at. They just avoided that, that Lisa actually did start with Heavenly when she was on the horse. Heavenly just retaliated. So when she no. sent her the video and that was sending the text messages, it was all, you know, you know, a little banner and, you know, shit talk. But it wasn't heavily, heavily did not initiate that. But for some no, reason, I guess because she is usually always the one cracking, popping stuff off that it was just easy to blame her. But I I feel that Toya was still upset with heavily for the, the situation at Quad's house. Yeah, That's what I, that was. I think she was definitely upset with that. I think that she was just trying to, because she didn't, when she was outside talking to Simone, and she was like crying and talking about how she brought Heavenly. First of all, it's been so many seasons. You ain't never said nothing about you and Heavenly, how deep y'all friendship was in the past. How you? She's never really talked about that. You know what I'm saying? So, she, she did tell us that when they first moved there, that yes. they were introduced to Heavenly and Damon, but she didn't make it seem like they were just so, exactly. so close. Yeah. That's, the, that's the issue I'm having with Toya, because it's seeming like... Every time she brings somebody around, you got who you got? You got Heavenly. You got and I'm sorry, you got Heavenly Contessa. You got Anila. You make it seem like Anita. your friendship is so much more, and it's really it don't it really don't it be given like no, like y'all got together for the show. And so she feels but, like people owe her loyalty, but she has to really understand like what she's saying and what she's doing is not exactly. Even, she's not exactly. just you know like out here to being the best friend she could be anyway. So I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I don't think she she doesn't. Toya lacks accountability. With just like Contessa was saying, it's always everybody's attacking me. She never takes into account what does she do yeah. to enhance the situation, and that's always been Toya, because she, yeah. she she attacks all of them girls. And when they go back at her, you're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be my friend. You're supposed to be my friend. No, Toya, it's it's you too. And if you falling out with a new friend Everybody. every season, at this point you got to be like it's gonna be Jackie next. But Jackie actually. I, I don't like think what Jackie ever did. I like. Yeah, I was just gonna like, say. She took her to the bathroom and kind of talked to her way as if it was in somebody else. They would have just popped off on her on the table. Well, in the whole day, she 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 was she was about to go there. It was about to be given this conversation she had with Buffy when she was just like, yeah. a new girl has a, has run <laughs> you this matter. So she was just like, your anger, and I like how you know, toy, yeah. unattractive. Toya was just like. 
<laughs> it was really giving like like your mother say, you know, I'm not mad, I'm, I'm just disappointed, and you just be like, yeah. that hurts you more than your mother said she mad. I felt that that kind of vibe from that from what she was saying, but um, she did take her out. I like that she took her out. She talked to her, and um, I just really felt like she was still reaching. Toya was. I'm sorry. For she was. I was. I was just gonna say that even when they started speaking, it was like Toya. What are you talking about? What did she like, say to the minute she did? Now. Yeah, what is she was she drunk? Was she was she already drinking? Who? Oh, to- you know what? Toya. Oh, yeah. She probably was. Because when, when Heavenly came back, Heavenly was like that she wanted to she wanted, she wanted to drink like that. So she yeah. Might, yeah. So she probably had some Patron. She always showed up with some damn Patron. Yeah, but it was it was very much a reach. Like it was I didn't understand what she I got what she was trying to say, but mm-hmm. it was like it was just she needed a reason to vindicate herself as to why she was popping off on Jackie. She called that girl. And like, I, so she, no, go ahead, go ahead. I wanted Jackie to get her at the table, but when she, I did too. When she got she up, and said, let me take her to the bathroom. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? I appreciate this more than her just barking back at Toya. I actually liked her getting up, taking her away from everybody, and trying to have a conversation with her. But initially, I was thinking, Jackie, get her, get her ass, because she's she's not gonna stop to somebody get her. So we that's, don't know. Hopefully, exactly. That's the thing. Hopefully, it, 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 it can't be heavenly. It got to be somebody like Jackie. Who usually don't? They got to be Jackie that. or Simone, or somebody Simone. that's gonna actually just gonna yeah. get up, cause she gonna respect the other girls, especially especially heavenly and, and especially quad. Especially quad, yeah. Quad, yes. Yeah, kind of quiet this episode. I didn't like her little wig, the little two tone ombre wig she had on. But I didn't like it either. I didn't like her. I didn't like her ponytail for the reunion. How you feel about the uh, the all the girls laughing at Lisa Nicole was said she almost had Oprah. <laughs> I was I, laughing. I was, I was laughing. When she with said, Oprah, I said, Oprah, Lisa Nicole, you? No. I'm sorry. I, mind you, she. I was giving her the side eye when she said Ice Cube. Like, you not getting no damn Ice Cube. Well, you damn sure ain't getting Oprah. The, the, panel, the, the panel that she was pulling from, it was like, she said, Oprah, then Char, 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 Charlemagne, the guy. Charlemagne. Mm-hmm. How you bring... That's not even what. <laughs> she, was, she was just, she was just, and that's why she was like, I just got excited and I just took off. That's why you need the you, help because you was you all over help. the place. You all took over off the place. and you should have set your ass down because you just what you're trying to do. It's not even flowing. Like that's not. That seems like a disaster of an event. Who's coming? The same people coming to see Oprah ain't coming to see Charlotte Man the God and Ice Cube. Come on now, it's two different kind of audiences. I'm just saying. Two different. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't understand it, but. I I'm glad like I said glad I'm glad Jackie got her in that in that space. She didn't go off mm-hmm. on her. That's good, but she is not responsible for Heavenly. They are friends, they're close friends. She is not responsible for her. And I I wish people all of them really should just really let that go and stop trying to make that a thing because Jackie, unless she does something to Jackie, then ain't none. I mean, she can feel like all right, stop. Because I don't think she's not an enabler. She doesn't say much. I don't think that. Is. I don't every think time that. Heavenly goes off, she kind of does this. Cause she already know. <laughs> she already know. She's that one friend that I feel like all of us have. You know what I'm saying? Not saying this is the best thing, but all of us have that friend. And you like, oh lord, here she go, or here she go, friend, and there she go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Or uh, here she go, friend. Or uh, here she go, friend. Like everybody has it, and you just gotta some type of people child. If you love them, you accept them. You, mm-hmm. you don't. You don't piss them off. Cause you piss them off. Here she go. <laughs> <laughs> and it it take heavily this much. This much, and she gonna pop off. Some people it take longer. Some it take this. I mean, hey, leave people alone. <laughs> Lisa Nicole, every time she con- Karen, Lisa is constantly poking her. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like y'all don't have much to stand on. Y'all are like like full cast members. Like they're not at the reunion. Obviously, the Bravo didn't give two shits about them. They weren't invited to come. So they want that. At important. this point, heavenly one. Like she's beefing with, you know, the slums at this point. Like nobody. <laughs> And yeah, I'm 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 actually I'm still shocked that they didn't even show up for the reunion. I don't, I don't or that they, they weren't invited. They were invited. I yeah, I that they actually. weren't invited. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Did they even have confessionals this season? I don't think so. Not that I can Quad, remember. Quad had a confession. She Quad, Quad was did. the friend of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, Carrie and Lisa were the friends of Toya. If you notice that, they always came to stuff because she came with them. I wonder if that was. As a, I wonder if Bravo reached out to have them come back up. That was Toya just reeling them in, and they just caused so much commotion that they had no choice but to be on camera. Well, I mean, I don't know the truth, but I know, like, you know, I noticed that, like, Heavenly on her show and 
some of them always say that Carrie has been wanting to be on the show for a while. I, I thought she I was will, will, willingly, but I think they've been insinuating that she's been thirsty to come back. So she's been excited. Lisa Nicole, I'm not really sure. I don't know how she, you know what I'm saying? She may not have been, mm-hmm. I'm not sure, but yeah. I, I thought, I definitely never expected her to come back. The way she left and her husband. Uh, exactly. I, 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 I was not very surprised. Her. I didn't expect to see, I mean, I was, I was excited to see her come back, but I feel like seeing what she gave this season no i'm not really here for it i wasn't excited to see her come back and seeing well, what I, she I, gave I thought this. she she gave a little more when she was on the show i felt like she did give us some moments because lesbian relationship lives rent free in my head yeah. i'm sorry so <laughs> yes. but on the show like i don't have to see her anymore like she can go after this I, she came back it's kind of like when sheree came back that one time i wasn't impressed all right sheree bye girl don't come back come on that's don't it. come back that's how I feel about Lisa. And take Kari with you. Like, y'all just... Please take her. Sh- Somebody need to read her. I'm sick of her ass, actually. She always... I really did not want her back. I didn't want... I didn't want... When they let her go after the first season, I was so glad. And so to see her in the previews that she was coming back for this season, I was thinking, for what? For what? And now that she's here, it's for what? Right. For what? So maybe Bravo felt the same way, which is why they weren't invited to the reunion. So hopefully we don't have to see them next year. I would rather see Mariah again Versus those two, we all would rather see Mariah again, um, just because I don't I didn't like two. her, like her, but I definitely think she added more to the had more to bring to the show. Just like Quad, like Quad has as a friend of the show, she's brought it. She's in the drama. When you come in as a friend and you in the drama, that's why you're a friend of the show. That's why you get a confessional. Mm-hmm. You don't get a confession if you have no going on. Not bringing a, a, a scale in a Chanel bag. <laughs> that's so <laughs> Chanel Chanel charade. <laughs> That is I so loved tacky. It. <laughs> I like that, that's Lisa. She should have brought Lisa. in a regular, like, a Chanel bag. Anyway, yeah. Tacky. Um, but that was pretty much all the episode. Uh, I think they announced their trip soon. I think that there's, like, some more drama there. But until then, it's not a lot going on. You know, It's not a lot. And I, I thought they were going to give us so much more yeah. based on the trailer. But no. No. It's not, not nothing going on. Mm, I agree. Did you have anything you want to add before we close out or lean out? Um, as far as the episode, I, I'm just hoping these last few are actually TV worthy. Because, yeah. I, I mean, they've been very consistent. So I, I'm worried that they're going to start falling off like the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Ooh. And I'm going to give it the benefit of that. Maybe it was just COVID, so they were just really restricted yeah. or tight. You know, I don't know. So I'm, let's just hope next next year is better. Or these last three episodes can kind of redeem the entire season. Mm-hmm. I hope that something good happens. Something. <laughs> something. Like stuff has happened recently, but it's not anything to keep me just like it's like oh, okay, like it, it's nothing. I, you know, your show is good when it breaks other news outlets and stuff like that. No mm-hmm. one's talking about Married to Medicine other than probably us. <laughs> it's us, and, and we barely doing it. So, Me, I'm I mean, really doing just, it, but <laughs> but I mean, I, I just hope that these last few they kind of give us something, yeah. something. So we'll okay. see. Okay, well we're about to lean out. Of course, like, subscribe, comment, all things lean. If you're watching Legendary, if you're watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and coming soon Drag Race, those shows have content too. You can find Sammy Chase and uh, Antonio here for Married to Medicine. We're gonna we're gonna complete the season. We're going to do this, you know. It no matter how good or bad it is, we're going to commit to that. Uh, <laughs> you can find Sammy on Instagram at it's Sammy, it's underscore Sammy Sosa, which is underneath his name. I put it up a little late on accident because I didn't realize it wasn't there until like halfway through. But y'all know Sammy at this point. Y'all have seen him on many shows, and you'll see him on <laughs> many more to come. So um, find me here. So like, subscribe, comment. We will see y'all for the next episode, which is episode 14. 14. And, uh, until then, y'all have a good day. Or a good, happy Memorial Day. Happy holiday. Yeah, that too, Chad, because it, it is a holiday, Chad. <laughs> yeah.